you'll do what? I'll just be in the background. Background? Just a background chick. What's up, guys? Old Man FPB here. I have my lovely wife, young lady, here to join me on our race vlog for today. This morning, we are at Gateway Park in Fort Worth for the Fort Worth Quad Racers uh, Fall Series Finale. Yay! Um, Yay! Weather is going to be beautiful today. The track has been a surprise, so everybody's excited to get out there and give it a go. Um, quads are ready to go. I think I'm all ready. Am I ready? Raise, we're gonna be. What's your do this? What's your prediction for today? I'm gonna win. You're gonna win. Yeah. Gonna she it. is gonna win. She's our neighborhood uh, photographer, <laughs> and everybody is sad when she's not here. So I'm here, and I'm gonna take a crap ton of pictures like I always do. So I do. <laughs> so the format today is five practice rounds, and then they are going to seed a double elimination bracket based on season standings. Um, currently, I'm sitting in first place by a very small margin. Um, but it, it's not a large enough margin. I have to do very, very well today to still come out with a podium for the season. So um, we're going to take it slow in practice and make sure that we get our laps in and that we're not doing anything stupid and breaking quads. And um, we're going to just kind of play the day by ear. And then once we, uh, once we know what the brackets are coming into the, uh, the double elimination, we will figure out what our strategy is going to be and we'll roll with it. Is there anything I need to do? Have you gone pee yet? I have gone pee. Okay, we're good. Such a big guy against such a small bladder. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and walk over there and check out what they got done on the track. Let's do it. Your winner today. This is a little precursor to how it's gonna end up. We got Michelle over here. She's my big supporter. Always been my number one fan. I love Tayson. Helping me through it all. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Sorry, David. You're going down today. taking a quick break between the practice rounds and the bracket, the double elimination bracket. Um, they changed up the format a little bit. I guess there was a little bit of confusion in um, how the final uh, standings would be um, calculated. The season standings are going to basically seed us into the brackets and then whoever wins the brackets wins the season for, uh, for the um, event. So a lot more on the line than I originally thought. Um, right now, um, I've had a pretty good day. I think I was, I qualified third, so not as good as I wanted to. I was only a couple of seconds off of second, um, but Austin is killing it in first. Man, that dude is a machine. So definitely got to uh, pick up the pace there. Flew pretty good. Um, really, I'm 
kind of struggle in the most with staying tight to the gates. We'll come out of a high speed section into a low speed section and just trying to make sure I don't blow anything out in any corners. Um, there's lots of curly cues that are giving me some trouble. I definitely need to practice them. Um, and then mainly just stand out of my own head, you know, make sure I know, you know, it's, it's better to have consistent, you know, consistent 32, 33 second laps than try to go all out for the 20 second lap. I know there's going to come a point where I have to do that just to keep up with Austin, but as of right now, just trying to be consistent and get through the brackets to, to where we get close to the end and we have to start pushing really hard. So we'll start, I'll give you guys a, a peek of the bracket. It's only going to be a two lap bracket because the track is so long. Some of the, some of the guys that aren't quite as fast are taking up to about a minute to complete the, to complete the lap. So we want to make sure that everybody has enough battery to complete the race. So we'll go ahead and get started with uh, my bracket number one dash four, I guess it'll be the one that I'm in. So we'll jump to that race and see how I do. Taylor, would you like to talk some more crap, sir? Yeah. Andrew, any crap you would like to talk, sir? But no, no, crap crap needed. no crap needed. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. He says, I'm going to let the quads do the talking. Right? Although Taylor, he wants to run his mouth instead of his quads, so we'll see how that works out for him. Hello, Mr. Bill. Hey, what do you know? I'm, I'm, I'm loving life. I'm looking at quads. That is a awesome, sexy little match you got there. But I'm going to come over here. I'm going to check out the Thanks prizes. For, one made for, you. for that Hawk 5. Yes! I like that. Thank you, sir. Okay. Look at all the prizes that we have for today. That's a pretty solid prize table. We definitely have to thank Ben and Noel for that. Thank you, Noel. Ben is otherwise preoccupied. We'll have to do a shameless plug here for my Panda Multi-Rotors quads. Looking all, kinds of, looking all kinds of beautiful here. Oh yeah. In all versions Look style. at that. See, I'm not the only one running one either. <laughs> so beautiful. Well, sorry I didn't give a uh, an update at the very end of the race. It was almost dark and I was exhausted. So I've got home and, and unloaded everything and now we're doing a quick recap of the race. Um, so going into the brackets, um, format had changed a little bit. Everything was on the line for the season. Um, my first bracket, um, I was seated pretty high. So I had a pretty favorable seating. 
Um, I had Sam was in my heat. He had been killing it all day, pretty much keeping up toe to toe. We were back and forth. And so the top three would advance um, out of a six man heat. So we, we just kind of ran smooth, um, completed our two laps, um, got there, and the, uh, I think I finished second to him. Uh, we got to, to the very end, we were on top of each other, and it just, you know, it just wasn't worth passing him for strategy's sake. And so um, we just finished one, two, and um, finished out that race. We went on to the, hold on, I wrote this down so that I, I wouldn't forget. Um, went on to the next bracket. Um, 2-2 two, two, and kind of the same thing uh, we went out there we were sitting there right on top of each other uh, finished within a couple of seconds of each other uh, me and Sam did in the same bracket and so we finished I finished second again um, getting a little bit faster a couple seconds faster um, in that bracket so I continued on on the winner's side um, went to the next bracket which was 3-1 and this was almost what I would have pictured the final the final to be um, with the pilots that were in it. So we flew. I mean, it, that heat you had to give it. You had to give it your all. There was no way you were gonna um, just, you know, kind of cruise to to a win in that one. Um, so went out there, gave it my all. Um, put in another second place um, finish in that bracket, um, but shaved almost. I think it looks like I shaved eight seconds off from the run before it. So definitely, you can see that I was pushing a whole lot harder to make sure that I was in that top three. And I finished second behind Austin, who just had my number the whole day. Um, finished that up. Uh, we ran through the rest of the brackets and got to the final. Um, we ran a chase the ace final. So the first person to get two victories. Um, and <laughs> freaking Austin, man, all day. Um, just as consistent and even as you could go. Um, first run, he beat me by four seconds. He took first, I took second. Um, can still the fastest my, the fastest I, I ran all day. So I shaved um, another two or three seconds off of my time from the run before it. So I was about two or three seconds behind him. And then Taylor came in about 10 seconds behind me. And then the very last race, so he had one, Austin had one victory already. So the very last race we raced again and Austin won again by I think five seconds this time. And I took second, <laughs> and then Taylor was, uh, I think, like about three or four seconds behind me. So it finished the same. One, two, three, four all finished the same in both in both rounds. So um, for the season, for the end of the season, um, Austin took first. Um, I placed second for the season standings. Uh, Taylor took third. I believe it was Reza took fourth. Uh, Bill took fifth, and Donald took sixth. So congratulations to all the guys that when where they finished. Um, everybody did a fantastic job. Um, there were definitely some surprises about who made it to the finals and then how well they did. Uh, that was awesome. It was good to see, you know, new guys in the finals. So that was cool to see. Um, you know, I just, I was happy with the way I did in the brackets. I, I wish I could have beat Austin. He's kind of like my unicorn. I chase him around all the time. Eventually I'm going to, I'm going to get to where we can start trading wins. But right now a victory every once in a while is pretty much what I, what I managed to, uh, what I managed to get against him. But I know this is running kind of long. I want to thank Noel and thank Ben for the series. Uh, thank them for the time off. Um, because um, some of you may not know, but I'm a race organizer myself and this November and December is our off season. So, during this off season, Ben was nice enough to schedule his races to where I could attend, and I really, really appreciate that. And we're going to be getting started up in January. I've had a, I've had a request, a couple of requests for an organizer's point of view, organizer pilot's point of view on how we get through a day and how we do everything we want to do. So, my next video is that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a life in the uh, a day in the life of an organizer and a pilot at the same time. So not only that, but I got to figure out how to vlog it all. So that ought to be pretty interesting. Um, for my Fort Worth peeps that are that are watching this video, also, I encourage you to come out to one of our races as well. I know it'll be a little bit of a drive, but I think you'll have a lot of fun. Um, our tracks are a little bit more difficult. Uh, they're a little bit on a larger scale, but. You know, it's it's a learning experience. We ru we'll run beginners classes or whatever we need to do to accommodate everybody, and <clears throat> it's just it's going to be a blast. We're going to get into the new season and we're going to start rocking it out. So I hope to see you guys at the races in January. And this is Old Man FPV signing off to the next race. Thanks, guys. <laughs>